Welcome to a lesson with Dr. Powell. Let's look at where the foci are located on a hyperbola and how to compute that. First, let's make observation. If, if we have a hyperbola that opens like this, the foci are located inside these cupping parts. So if the hyperbola opens side to side, the foci will be side to side. If the hyperbola opens up and down, the foci will be up and down. The focus is a specific point, which is great for reflective properties, just as for ellipses. But there is a key difference. For ellipses, foci are located on the longer side of the box. Hyperbolas don't care what the longer side of the box is. So for instance, the box could be long this way, but the foci appear over here. And then what's important is, is that the foci are just in the direction it opens, not necessarily the direction where it's longer. It could be in the direction where it's longer if it happens to open up that way. But in general, we just, we just focus on what sides it's opening up on. Let's look at a specific example so we can see how to, how to make the computation and where it's located. Suppose we have a box like this. Okay. And suppose that the hyperbola opens up and down. So that means that the foci will be located up and down. How do you figure out where the foci is? Well, look at the center here of the box. Think of it as being a hinge. Now go off to the corner. Think of this as being a, being a doorway or a cupboard door or something like that. And imagine it swinging, swinging. It swings all the way so it's vertical. The edge of that door, that's the focus. Now, if we did it on the other side, see, we could swing this and it would land here, or we could keep swinging it and it would go right down here, lower down to the other focus. So all we need to determine where the focus is, this is how long this door is that's swinging. And then also to know the center because we take the center point and we go up the length of this door and we go down the length of that door downward. So we gotta know where the center is and we need to know the length of this door. So let's, let's look at this particular case and suppose that um, we have, um, x minus three quantity squared all over um, four. And then, and this is going to be a negative since we're opening up in the y direction, plus, and let's suppose we just have um, y plus one quantity squared is equal to one. So that means it's it's going, this is, this will be up and down one, and this will be over across two in this particular case. Like we could even draw it over here. So one up and two over just from this. And we know the center point is actually at three comma negative one. And so then we need to know how long this length is. Now this is a hypotenuse, this right here is not, is a hypotenuse of a triangle. So let's look at this triangle here. Go up one and over two. This, now this length is often, as for ellipses, is called C, the distance from the center to the focus. So how do you compute C? Well, just Pythagorean theorem. We know two squared plus one squared is equal to C squared. Then 
right? So we have four plus one is five. So five is equal to C squared and C is equal to square root of five. You could even say plus or minus square root of five if you want to, because you're gonna be going up and down that much. So C is that distance. So the distance from here to here is actually square root of five. And also downward is also square root of five. So the coordinates, the specific coordinates of the focus or of the two foci are, well, we take the center and then notice that we're moving up and down in the y direction. So we say three comma negative one plus or minus the square root of five. And these are the two coordinates of the foci. Thanks for watching.